what's good, Fit Fan? Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you guys as always for checking in with your boy, hitting that play icon. Uh, just waking up. It is currently, and I want to put it on the screen here for you guys. You can see, as you can see, it is 6 39 in the morning. So, good morning to all, all of you guys. Um, it is Friday morning, pre, pre weekend, I guess the weekend, whatever. But, about to head to the gym. I'll take you guys on my day. So, a couple of things. Uh, I typically like to train early in the mornings. First thing, no food. Because just for me, I've been doing it for years. And I've gotten accustomed to doing it. And I, I think it's just my favorite way of training. If I start my day off, my entire day off, hitting some weights, lifting some relatively heavy weights, my whole day is better. And plus, I get it out the way. I don't have to worry about it. I typically don't like working out at nights anymore. I'll do it, but I don't like it because it's a crowd. Um, and I, I hate waiting on machines, and waiting on the rack, and waiting on the bench, and waiting on the cables. So if I do in the mornings, I typically don't have to wait on anything. Get in there, get my work done. I don't have to get stared at all the other Even though I don't really give a fuck about that, but. I get to do my thing and get out. So that's why I like hitting in the mornings. So I'm about to go ahead and get my day started. So let's hit. Alright family, so first movement of this chest and back is going to be bent over barbell rows uh i believe this is a staple to build your back build your core i i will even go as far as putting that in my pillars of strength uh i have five exercises that i call pillar of strength now which is dead squats bench overhead press and now the bent over barbell rows i do believe these five complex all complex exercises do give you the strength that you need now you're about to get ready to see here me doing it wrong versus me doing it correctly right here i'm doing it totally wrong a lot of people do it like this they stand up straight or they they almost stand up straight and that's not the way you do it guys it's called a bent over barbell roll when when i stand up straight guys like that I, i'm doing a shrug in my honest opinion so that's how i feel you should do you it's bent over so you're doing a bent over roll so heavier weight does get a little bit challenging but that's the way i that's the way you're supposed to do it guys just like that and so that is the bent over barbell roll um then went upstairs did the chest and back uh superset everything incline uh chest press Superset it that with inverted seal rolls with the dumbbell guys. Um, like I said, I, I superset everything because of time crunch, because I want to get in and out, this, that, and etc. So next move you see me doing is a fly dumbbell incline fly. Haven't done this in a while. Get a good stretch on the outer part, and then you come in, you squeeze the shit out of the dumbbells. And then I did a bent over dumbbell roll, guys. Uh, again, bent over rolls. Uh, uh, rowing is essential if you want to build strength. If you want to build that back, you got to build that back to bench. You got to build that back to dead, squat, everything. So essential. Do your rolls, guys. Do those rolls. Uh, machine press, ISO machine press. Superset of that with the um, T-bar row, machine T-bar row whatever you want to call it uh again you know just a push pull you know you want to get maximum effectiveness you got to do complex moves supersets finished off with abs guys and that was the workout uh, hope you guys are liking it so far click that like button because it's going to be another long vlog got a lot to talk about so stay tuned weighing in Fit fam, what's good? Saturday, the next day of the vlog. Hope you guys have liked it so far. Please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
So anyways, guys, uh, about to head to the gym. I actually have to head to the gym in a few minutes. Just want to talk to you guys about the top of the video on why is it that I lift. I think I've gone over this before, but there may be a few things I haven't gone over uh, in in the vlog. Uh, so here's reasons. Here's the main reason why I lift, guys. I'm putting on this after shape. This got the shaping. Um, the main reason why I lift, guys, is because I want to be strong. Uh, I think everybody has figured that out. I want to be the strongest 50, 60, 70 year old that's out there, or at least one of the strongest. I may not be the strongest, but I want to be up there as one of the strongest. Um, you know, at, when I when I first started my weight loss journey at 3.30, yeah, I wanted to lose the weight, but I didn't want to lose the weight to have six pack abs. I wanted to lose weight because I was tired when I was feeling sluggish, um, couldn't see my feet, always tired, always sleepy, um, borderline diabetes, high blood pressure. They wanted to put me on medication. I was taking medication for cholesterol. They wanted to put me on needles, all that good stuff. Doctor telling me that I was going to die before I reached 40. I'm be 41 this year and feeling better than ever. Uh, despite the little weight gain, I still feel better than ever. But um, I just got tired of the way I was feeling in life. You know, all, like I said, so losing the weight was about health. It wasn't about having six pack abs or trying to look good. Even 2019, guys, as I will display here, when I did lose the weight, I didn't appeal to, I mean, I appeal, it was some women that, no, they were attracted to me, but none of them like uh, just had interest. You know what I'm saying? Like, and maybe I could have tried a little bit harder, but I thought, you know, my thinking was if I got to this size, and I'm still, I'm gonna get to that size, but for different reasons. Uh, I thought more women would appeal to me, and it didn't happen, guys. Um, I didn't get more women. More women didn't appeal to me. Some women don't even care. Uh, some women do. So that's another topic. But at the end of the day, guys, for me, it's about strength. It's always been about strength. I was that little punk kid growing up, scared to fight people. So that's what it's about, man. I want to be strong as possible. I'll be strong, strong, strong. You never know when you got to knuckle up and you got to have that strength, man. You know, you got to have that strength to do it. So uh, teaching my son to be strong, he wants to be strong with his father. So it's just additional purposes to it. Um, like I said, it's about longevity. I'm in this for life, guys. There's, there's no, I'm going to get fine for the summer. No, I'm in here. I'm in the gym until the day I die. I'll be consistent for the gym until the day I die. It saved my life, so I'm going to give it my life. So it is what it is, guys. If you're chasing six-pack abs, go right ahead. That's not my deal. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm about health. And if I need to get down to that way to get healthy, to be healthy, then that's what I will do. I will do anything I can to live longer. And if I have to have six pack abs to live longer, if that's what it takes me to live longer, then that's what I'll do. If I need to lose the weight like I need to do now to live longer, that's what I'll do. It's about living as long as I possibly can because time does go away. My time, is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still young, but I'm not getting any older. So, I want to be here for my great grandkids, my great great grandkids. So, if being in the gym, losing the weight, being strong, if those are the elements I have to do to obtain that, that's what I'm going to do. And that's why I lift. So, four minutes. I've talked to you guys long enough. Let's go hit the gym. Let's work.
success. All right, family. So, I'm gonna explain real quick what happened with that front squat. So, 275, that first rep, I felt the jolt on my right knee. As you see, it, I have the pump chaser knee sleeves on my right knee, so I am having a little bit of knee issues. So, I have to keep it wrapped on there. I might start using it on both legs. My left knee is not bad at all, but it's just something going on with the right knee. I need really need to get checked out. Uh, 315, uh, that fell. Uh, again, I felt the jolt and then the weight was rolling off of me um, when I felt that jolt It was just uncomfortable. So I felt it. I'm not scared to fail guys in the gym it, Even if everybody's looking at me if I fail it fuck it I fail it That's why I re-racked it and hit it on the second time look guys at the end of the day I am here to train for life like I told you guys in the previous clip I'm here to train for life. I'm not here to be the strongest alpha male I'm not you know anything if I can Put the weight if I can pick it up, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, and if I fail it, I fail it at the end of the day. I'm here to keep trying, keep pushing myself to the limits that I can push myself. I'm not trying to stroke the one's ego or nothing like that. So, just want to explain you guys real quick. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. family so leg session is completed y'all already know what about the head bam motherfucking chipotle man i gotta do it gotta make it happen captain y'all already know the deal I told you the chest was fucked up and they put this bitch over here so i gotta go gotta go let's get it all right fifth fam so back at the crib Got my bowl, double chicken with a combination of white and brown rice, vegetables, queso, lots of corn, uh, medium, a little bit of medium salsa, a little bit of spicy salsa. Um, and I then have another chips and queso. So I have another chips and queso on deck right here as well. As well as I like to put my tortilla on the side because I'm a big tortilla fan. So I'm going to eat this, guys. And I'm going to come to the vlog right here. Um, yeah, so like I said, guys, uh, back when I said earlier, those are the reasons why I go to the gym. Those are the reasons why I keep lifting. Those are the reasons why I keep going. Um, like I said, this year, I am trying to get back down to the 225, but maintain the strength that I have now. So with that, it's going to take a lot of work, nutrition, a lot of consistency. I got to keep up with the lifts that I did, that 315 front squat fail, man, that was no excuse. But again, my knee gave away. And so I just want to try it again. Sometimes you fail it and you just got to pick back up and try again. I'm not embarrassed of the failures in the gym. Everybody was looking at me. I didn't care. Guess what? I'm going to dust it off and try it again. I hit that bitch. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated trying to get it back, trying to get up this year. So let's get that work in. Let's continue that grind 2021. Next vlog, I'm going to discuss what's been going on this year. My thoughts on 2021 so far. So stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.